So today I'm with pilot Devin and I'm going to be taking a look at his ship, the Belisknir class, obviously inspired by our Stargate SG-1's Asgard race. Um, I'm just going to come down to the dock here and uh, I'm going to take a look inside. And right, so here's Devin and uh, Devin's going to be showing me around the ship and I'm going to ask him a few questions as we go along. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and call out where we are and you know, everything. Uh. Well, this is the this is the airlock. Um, flex storage bins, obviously, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you come in, and that's about it. Gravity <laughs> on your side. <laughs> so what's up? The, uh, what's up the stairs? Up the stairs is the entrance to the command and control group. Uh, up here on the right, straight ahead is the med bay. On the right, so let's check the med bay out. All right, well, straight ahead, actually. Oh, you've you done can. loads of work on this. This is great. I have actually. This is a fully functioning, complete med bay now. Whoa. Um, <coughs> operating open... tables, yeah. exaggerating tables, etc. <laughs> uh, operating tables. So several of those. We've got th theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This would be uh, some some kind of you know containment chamber of some sort. Quarantine. Quarantine, uh, as well as this. This was a decontamination chamber of sorts of some kind or whatever. Brilliant. Um, so all the medical displays, and then back here we have cryo storage or cryostasis. Anyway. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's head on down to another room that I actually finished um, before we get to the command room, real quick. Sure. Um, um, yeah. Through here. Uh, over here is the officer's quarters. These are each, there are a total of 10 rooms. Um, the ship is mirrored on both sides. Um, five officer's quarters on either end. Um, these are unfurnished um, purposely. Um, these are for faction members. Uh, so each room is capable of having its own uh, wall colors, its own. Um, so each faction member can come in and decorate the room as they so choose. Cool. Um, and each faction member can have their own set private bedroom. With diplomats. Yeah, or diplomats or whatever. I love it. It's brilliant. Oh, by um, the way, a kudos for this corner design. By the way, that's the first thing that grabbed my attention. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the video. It's funny because after you mentioned that, I, I actually went through the entire ship that day and checked and made sure that every single corner had that on it. Just, <laughs> Excellent. Just to keep you happy. Oh, nice. Um, so through here, I actually did finish the, um, obviously these are the bathrooms, which I haven't changed, they're the same thing. There are four bathrooms um, total, two on the opposite ends, two on the other side. Um, bathrooms, toilets, um, sink, pretty basic bathroom. Um, through here is the mess hall. Um, yep. This is actually fully complete now. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, Mushrooms. Tables, uh, yeah, these are, uh, I guess you could call them refrigerators or whatever. Um, sort of a serving table back here so for a little role play if you want. Um, it's the closest thing you can get to food are little <laughs> grass patches. <laughs> uh, big screen TV with some, you know, benches to watch, I don't know, the Bears game or something. Nice. Yeah. Is this more toilets here? Uh, yeah, same thing. Um, this is a turret access tunnel, obviously. Um, uh, this will be standard crew quarters, pilot's quarters, if you will. Um, yeah, these are bunks, uh, just to answer your question. Nice. These are bunks. <laughs> they look great. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know. I didn't know. You can never tell yeah. the scale that people are working on, but no, it's yeah. great. Uh, obviously, a little table of some sort, you know, sit down and have lunch or something. Um, these are all showers Very and nice. uh, toilets. On, uh, and of course, like I said, it's mirrored on the other end. So if you count all the bunks, it's two, four, six, eight in each quarters. So a total of 16, theoretically, 16 crew. Yep. Uh, so through here, the green lighting uh, represents hangars. Um, these are all faction permissions, so anybody outside the faction can come through here. Um, this is an access corridor which basically connects both halves of, of the ship, um, so that way you don't have to walk all the way to the other end yeah. just to cross the ship. Um, there are 
technically a total of six hangars uh, on the ship itself. Um, up the stairs is the fighter bay. Uh, so these are smaller, uh, smaller docks for fighter-sized craft. Um, back here is a drone, so you can dock up some drones or whatever. Um, back there in the back, again, also mirrored on the other end, um, a control for the um, hangar door is over here as well as being able to actually so you can just go here and close it so you don't actually have to be go, at the door yeah go all the way over there brilliant yep um and then down the stairs is the uh the larger hangar um there's space for two larger craft down here you can call them bombers if you want um it's just a bigger hangar it's all same thing um some plex storage over here um and yeah, um, they are color coordinated. Uh, one end is the red alpha wing, the other end is the blue beta wing. Nice. Um, so those are the hangers. Um, the okay, I cover that. So all right, we'll we'll go up to the control deck, shall we? Okay. Okay, so we're back and we're going to check out the uh, turrets that we walked past. So this is turret access corridors. So tell me all about it. Um, well, I actually, I guess you could say I got the idea um, from the Democles. Um, okay. And so I decided that it would be cool to implement this. Um, it is somewhat functional. Um, you know, it's more for role play and you know just to be cool. <laughs> um, but you can you can in fact access all twelve turrets. Uh, from the interior of the ship, so there's no need to actually exit your ship if you need to turn them on or off or whatever um, Or change any of the settings on any of them. Um, I have a couple set up uh... Right, so there's turrets down these corridors Awesome oh. Right, I think we needed to check out the command center So as we approach the center of the ship, we're gonna go through a computer room so, yeah. Well, it's actually quarantined off, but uh, this is sort of a control panel, you know, role yep. play. Just for, uh, so you have to come through the first airlock door, so you kind of squeeze in a bit um, there, and then this out opens into the computer room. Nice. With a bit of a computer core or a power core, whichever you prefer. Um, you know, little monitors. Uh, I've actually become a huge fan of this um, lighting scheme, which is rec recessed into the wall yeah. and uh, throwing up a bit of water in front of it. Uh, I think it gives off a nice, um, it does. It looks dim, great. you know, dim lighting rather than being so bright and kind of, you know, burning your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Dims the room a bit. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Uh, and then we will uh, head up to the command. Excellent. Um, the the ship's uh, bridge uh, features three separate decks. Um, the lowest deck here is uh, what I'm deeming the CIC, uh, Command Information Center. Um, I guess you could call this the brains of the, the ship. Uh, it's just a bunch of, you know, computer stations and tables and things. It's supposed to emulate, like, you know, the... the Command uh, XO would be down here and stuff like that would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, it features a blast shield, uh, <laughs> which is also featured on all three decks, um, and they are all connected. So this blast shield will close the um, top two as well. Uh, so job. you don't have to go in <laughs> which ones. The, oh, I see. Well done, man. Yeah, That's clever. it kind of goes off in the side That's there. Clever. So it's a little out of the way. Good. All right, so. Uh, We'll head up to the, uh, the second uh, deck. It is the main meeting room or conference room. Um, this is where you would host uh, dignitaries or um, hold uh, officers' meetings or whatever your heart desires. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's sort of an interesting table design. I think it, uh, the ice crystals kind of gives it a nice glow. Um, and, uh, you know, food, drink, bar kind of in the back here. Um, 
And again with the blast shields. Close it off, close it on, etc. Um, nice. And yeah. So it's a nice big table to hold meetings. Uh, and then we will continue on to the, uh, the bridge, um, which I did a little bit of work in here, not much. Um, it's pretty much the same. Uh, every station has a clear role. Um, up here is the, in the middle is the um, ship's core, uh, so you can enter it from here. Uh, and this is also the pilot station as well. Uh, directly in front of that uh, is the faction permission block, so this is where the faction block's at. Um, the weapons on one end, bobby control, so this ship does have bobby uh, capability, um, so it can be on, put on autopilot if you so desired, for whatever reason. Um, in lieu of an as true Asgard beaming array, I have a salvager, um, which I'm deeming the Asgard beam. Uh, and also the ship has limited, um, but it does have radar jamming. Um, it can jam for somewhere around 10 to 15 seconds, I believe. Um, and then some auxiliary stations on the walls, which have no purpose, but they look nice. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, and then the my favorite room in the entire ship, which is my personal bedroom, the captain's quarters. Um, and here we have a captain's office. Nice. And then behind that is the actual bedroom. Uh -huh. This is probably my favorite in the whole ship. In fact, I'm really proud of this lighting scheme that I got going on. It's the recessed uh, ice crystals. Kind of gives it a nice glow, makes it a little warm, uh, prevents it from being too bright in the room. Uh, and the captain's quarters features its own private bed and our bathroom and shower, of course. And, so what uh, did you what did you use for a reference when you were doing the uh, for you know when you were doing the bits that were accurate? Um, well, the bits that were accurate, uh, there were a few things. Mostly, it was um, image searches. Um, the ship sort of is based off of more or less fan art than actual pictures of the ship itself um, because I found it easier to find uh, fan art than uh, screenshots of the TV show. Um, so the exterior is as close to accurate as I could have gotten it um, based off of the pictures that I was able to find. Um, the ship is built by hand, it is not uh, SM edited. <laughs> yeah. It's great, it's awesome work. I really do like these rooms in here. Yeah. This this chair here. Everything, really. It's awesome. Hey. <laughs> See, the captain gets a private shower. Yep. Because, you know, I'm spoiled like that. <laughs> yeah, you've made lots of improvements in here since I did the video on it, and yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I went through and I flushed out all of the part that's time consuming about building big ships, you know, and even little ships is filling in little stuff like that, you know, like it could be something as simple as just flipping a wedge around into a different orientation that completely changes the look of the ship. It's actually kind of funny, speaking of uh, getting stupid little details correct, this middle reactor right here, Yeah. Um, it was off by like four or five blocks, and I literally spent like 
the better half of maybe an hour, hour and a half fixing it because yeah. it was annoying me <laughs> that it was five blocks off. So, you know, it's just little stuff like that that, that you know, takes so much time that and that's why ships like this, you know, tend to take so long to, to finish. But uh, in, in the end, I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of it. Um, I designed these turrets myself. They are uh, pretty much mini Beliskners, but, um, you know, I think they kind of fit the style of the ship uh, quite nicely. Um, they're not too obnoxious or, uh, uh, you know, intrusive. They kind of fit uh, the ship a bit. So thanks for watching the Ship of the Week feature. If you'd like to submit your own ship, then please send the details to mushroomfleet at gmail.com or visit mushroomfleet.co.uk and uh, sign up to register for the server. The rules are simple. It must be uploaded to starmade.org and it must be your very own design. You can't have, uh, you can't have somebody else's modified ships. It's got to be your own build. So get in touch and we'll see you next week for the next one. Mm -hmm.